Hello there, this is Rom Wills, and I'm here to give you that raw game. Today, I'm going to talk about lovers of many women. Now, like I did before a couple videos ago, I'm going to read uh, a chapter from uh, my book, A Player's Eyes, One Man's View of Sexual Relationships. Actually, I ain't going to read this whole chapter. I'm just maybe uh, read a... Uh, a few passages and then uh, really get into discussing it right now let me start it one thing I find interesting is when men lie on their dicks about the number of women they've been with a rule of thumb I have is that a man say if a man says he's been with 50 women the real number may be 25 of course very few men have been with 25 women here's a reality the average man will only have sex with five women in his life. There are some men who have had sex with a hundred or so women. If you dig deeper, you will find the majority of these women were prostitutes and escorts. Very few men have had sex with over ten women that they didn't have to pay for. That includes gold digging situations because that is really just another form of prostitution. People don't realize how deep it is for a man to sleep with a great number of women in his lifetime. That's why a lot of men go crazy if they get dumped by their girlfriends or divorced from their wives. Once a man finds that one woman who will fuck him on the regular, he wants to hold on tight. Many men will lock down their women for that reason. Even when a man cheats, he just has one other mistress. The average man will have about 30 women in his life who will feel a natural attraction to him thing is he's not going to have sex with all 30 even if he meets them most people will not meet all the persons most naturally attracted to the man may be lucky if he meets his 30 but 15 will be in relationships he will not be naturally attracted to 10 of them the timing will be off with at least two of the women so he may hook up with three women i'm not saying anything new to men Despite how much trash men talk, they know a whole bunch of women ain't feeling them like that. That's why a lot of men will go back to women from their past they had a relationship with. One situation I'm familiar with, with is when this man had a woman feeling him when he was young. He didn't treat her right even though he was the only woman giving him some play. Eventually she moved on and married a man who treated her the way she deserved. Dude found out the hard way that other women weren't as tolerant of his trifling ass. So the Bama tried to get back with the woman. Many men are in the same boat. That's why most men try to lock that pussy down. Indeed, a lot of game passed around in urban communities is about control. A man who has multiple women doesn't really need feel the need to lock one down. If she wants to bounce, he lets her go. He might not notice she left. Yeah, it can be like that. Now, I don't want to. I don't. I mean, I don't want to just read everything. Just get into a little commentary. You know, um, lovers of many women, or LMWs, are some interesting cats. They're some very interesting cats. One, it's hard to verify when one is actually. A true lover of many women because you know you get a lot of dudes out there and you see them talking to women but that doesn't really mean anything and some people think oh he a play he talking to so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so. um no dude could just be in a friend zone with plenty of women you know you got some cats like that they just know a lot of women but you know you know when it comes you know none of these women are like looking at this dude and taking their panties down talking about I won't be needing these so one of the things one of the things in order to for me to verify if somebody's a truly a love of many women I usually try to get to know their women or I re, you know I watch how women respond to these men you know I might hear from the women there's been like several dudes like this I found out they were players and that from them they didn't tell me anything the women would tell me their reputations would precede me and women would tell me, I know this one dude, women were telling me all the dudes, uh, I mean, all the women, blah, blah, blah. women were telling me all the, 
Okay, y'all, I just got like kind of tongue twisted there. Women were telling me all about all the women that this dude, this particular dude was sleeping with. I mean, they were telling me the stories. And I eventually met dude, he, he still, I mean, you know, got to talk with dude, got to know him. He didn't tell me anything for a few months. And then it was very slow what he did tell. But that's how it is. Now, you have to look at what the women are saying about him. Then you also, like, if you get a dude who got multiple baby mamas, he's, he's pretty much a lover of many women. Because you figure if he got, like, four baby mamas, you know, he got about probably, he got several other women where, you know, that, um, you know, that conception just didn't happen. And, you know, you got some dudes, you got a few dudes out there that got like about 50 kids or something. I mean, I personally know at least one dude got about 15 kids and stuff, about 10 baby mamas. You know, you, you know it. And he's still fucking everybody, everything that moved. So, you know, I want to, you know, and it, it's an interesting thing. Now, one thing, I know I talk about, uh, you know, that whole Mr. Goodbar thing. And, you know, on the surface, it would seem like these lovers of many women and good bars are the same. No, not really. A dude could be in that good bar category, right? But not necessarily, like, a womanizer. I mean, women might chase that, but for whatever reason, he don't indulge. He could be real religious. Or, you know, he could be some boy toy for some, you know, ugly woman with money. Something like, you know, something like that. But, like I said, they ain't that interchangeable. You know, you get some dudes who are money men. You know, some of the, all of them ain't like players, but then a few of them, you know, they could be lovers of many women. But if they got money, though, they probably look, probably a little bit smarter about it. You know, those going to be the cats who going to be, uh, you know, they they those are cats who going to, one, make sure they always have that condom on. Two, like, especially if they older. A lot of them get a vasectomy. They're going to be fucking like crazy. And I know some dudes like that, but they got a vasectomy. So they like, shit, they ain't having no babies. Like a dude, like a serious dude who got some serious money. Shit, that cat ain't messing around. Shoot, he ain't doing putting himself in a position. Shoot, I know one dude, he, he regretted it, messed up, got this woman pregnant and shit. That's the only time I see dude like phased. But, you know, that's the dudes with money. Now, you know, anybody who's followed my stuff know I talk about the non-selector, gamesmen, and the nice guys. Check it out. You can get some lovers of many women in, in those groups, too. Like, gamesmen? Like, in general, they non-select. In general, they just persistent. You know, they trying. They ain't really getting it. But, the reality is, real game exists. And I've, in fact, I've never said it doesn't exist. I just said what's being taught publicly isn't game. Like a person, really to learn the game, they need to be mentored in it. Whether that's just the pimping game or uh, any game, really. In, any Anything that involves, uh, you know, power or getting over on somebody, anything like that, you got to be mentored in that. Like, real game, you can't read it in some book or even sit in a seminar. You probably, like, any dudes out there who are true gamesmen, I mean, they just got game. They usually had, like, some older, they they learned it from their father, older male relative, or somebody who took them under their wing. But those can be, even though they, you know, the dude might still not be on the woman's list, but just got enough game to get past it or just to get what he wants. You know, so, and check it out. Even a nice guy can be a lover of many women. Now, people will say, well, he's a nice guy. He ain't getting no play and all that. Well, one of the things in my uh, book of players' eyes, I talk about this several categories of nice guys. You got, you, I mean, you got the blatant nerds. You got the regular guys, just regular guys, average Joes. And then you got some guys, you know, they just, they just like at that edge into the select they ain't quite there yet they might need maybe i don't know they might need a good raise on the job they might need to get just a better car 
maybe lose about 10 pounds, but they right, they right there on that edge. Now, a guy like that, because a guy like that typically got some shit going on anyway, right? If, a, if you know he got a little bit of money you know he got some looks even though he, you know most women might find him to be non-select but depending on the environment he's in he looks real good now say you get some guy right say he a manager or something you know he making a good salary i put a what's a good salary nowadays let's say he's making like in the 75 to 100,000 range which is you know, nowadays, that's like, you know, it's very decent nowadays. But, you know, if he's living in an upper middle class neighborhood, they might be like, whatever, dude. But if he's living in maybe a poor area or economically depressed area or something, for whatever reason, he's making that money. Shoot, he look real good to those women around there, especially if they like, you know, minimum wage or just barely above it. You know, if you in a town where the hot spot is Walmart. And you making a lot of money, you're going to look real good to the women around there. And you got some guys, they trying to get up out of there. But you got some guys, if they making that money like that, especially some guys, they, they might be blue collar. You know, they got something going on. Shoot, they, they tear that shit up. But if you look at them overall, overall picture, they would probably be just considered a nice guy. And, you know, and one thing about that whole select, non-select thing, the shit's fluid. It really is. It isn't really set in stone. And I mean, I might have to talk about that in another video. But, you know, a dude could be Mr. Goodbar in one state, one city with one social group. And then his ass moves someplace else. And he's all of a sudden a nice guy. And that happens a lot. You know, that happens to cats who, you know, they might be the big man in high school or something. And they go to college and all of a sudden they find out they're nothing but a hick. So, but that's neither here nor there. And one thing about these uh, lovers of many women, let's let's get something out of the way. They are not fucking constant dimes. <laughs> Seriously, they might get a dime every now and then, but they're not fucking them all the time. It, well, one of the simple reason is this is something I talked about uh, in another chapter in uh, my book, Play, uh, Players Eyes, and y'all gonna need to buy this one, okay? Uh, when I talk about it but the reality is there's not enough dimes to go around just like women of all races and I know they say this particularly in the black community but you know quite as it's kept they say it in the white community too there's a shortage of good men like well that's what they say but if men for what men look for what we really look for what we look for we look for cooperation we look for beauty it's easy as hell for us to say there's a shortage of uh, good women. So if a man, unless that man is like a rock star pro athlete in the limelight such as that, or just in a upper middle class to rich social circle where all the women are fine, and usually if a dude is in those circles any damn way, well, the rich, you know, upper middle class to rich social circle, it is a great social prep pressure to be married so he ain't gonna fuck around too much but other than that unless you in certain circles you ain't gonna come across that many dimes so you get these dudes out here who have legitimately fucked a hundred women five of them might have been dimes and i'm saying five here's the thing you don't fuck that many women and all of them gonna be fine you you fucking some ducks you fucking some uh, fat women or something. You fucking some ugly women. You fucking some women who's, uh, shall we say, should get like free therapy. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to drink some water there, y'all. At least that's what I'm telling you this. Anyway. No, it's, trust me, if, if you get a lover of many women and a dude been with a lot of women, he's had some ducks. Don't let him tell you otherwise. Cause there's no way and even if he just happened to be that type of dude who just run in some situation and some are you get some dudes who might you know they might be in a situation where they just get to be around a lot of strippers or something or, uh, or exotic dancers right if they get to be in those situations and shit yeah maybe they can get with a bunch of them but typically dudes like that 
if that female got a pulse, they going for it. And some of them know. That's when, uh, shoot. Like, if you just, if you want to, here, yeah, do some, check out some of those amateur porn sites. Those don't be fine women on there. They be some women you be wondering, damn. They hide their face, but they they be looking jacked up. Bodies and all that, all flat, all that. And they having somebody tear their shit up. And shoot, it's usually those lovers of many women because they, 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 they don't care. Those dudes like that, you know, let's call them dogs. Those dudes like that, they will mess with shoot you know monday morning you know monday night they that's what that slim uh fitness uh fitness uh freak you know that woman who be in the gym like eight days a week and whatnot tight body all that next day they get with a bbw and they won't they won't see any contradiction in all of this because wednesday they get with that butterface <laughs> so it's like they, they ain't no problems in all of this for them. You know, and I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be raw about that. See, one thing I want to say, you got some coaches out there or gurus talking about, you know, any man can get beautiful women like that. Nah, they, unless you, unless you do some serious transformative work. Nah, you might be, if you might be lucky to find one in, in uh, you know, where you're in a position to get to know her and whatnot. But, yeah, it's, please, you messing with some ducks or something. But, see, one thing um, these lovers of many women will do, they'll find, a, they'll find a beauty in the woman they deal with, you know? They'll find something about her, you know? And that, and also, too, and this is something I ain't really write in the book, but some, some dudes just have a sex drive like that. <laughs> Seriously, they just got a very low threshold of arousal. It don't take much. Motherfuckers walk outside and shit, the wind stopped blowing. You know? It was like this old joke Eddie Murphy said way back in the day and stuff about this uh, singing group he was traveling with. He said the bus, they were were the bus boys. He said they fucking everything that moved. He said they walked by a fish tank and the fish had stopped swimming. And, you know, that's how it is with some of these cats. You know? But the thing is, they'll find, a lot of those cats, they'll find the beauty in a woman. Sometimes, see, one thing, one thing about these dudes. They'll find a diamond. Because they're not really, honestly, they're not caught up into the dimes. And and that's a video I, I will do. Sometimes men are a little too caught up into finding that perfect woman. And that messes them up. Because they'll pass up a woman who might be feeling them right in their mess who really ain't that bad. You know? But some guys, they get so caught up. I mean, that's part of the reason why a lot of men would travel overseas and stuff. You know, to get with some women. And, you know, the women overseas straight playing them. I'm just being real. You know, they straight playing them. Even the ones who ain't prostitutes, they straight playing them. Because they know, especially, you know, this video is going to play primarily to uh, American audiences. You know, men of several races go and check it out. And, you know, a lot of guys think, well, I can go to Brazil. I can go to Dominican Republic. I can go to Eastern Europe. I can go to Thailand. And the women there just selling you a dream because so many men are caught up into that. But see, the true love of many many women, shoot, that dude, you know, he'll see something. He'll he'll see something in that average woman that other guys ain't going to see. And he'll make, you know, he'll feel, he'll make her feel it. See, they know how to see that sex, that freak in that woman. That, you know, that's the thing. And I talk about some of this in the book and stuff, but I'm going a little bit, uh, I'm going to go a little bit deeper right now. They see the freak in that woman. They see that sexual part. They see that butterfly in that caterpillar. And, you know, they tap right into it to satisfy their own lust. You know, a lot of guys will say, well, what is about that woman? You know, and I think I told this. I don't know if I told it on YouTube or um, I might have said it on my private site. I think I said it on my private site. There's a lot of stuff I say there. I don't say publicly, but I'll say I'll say it there, you know. And I was talking about, you know, this one woman I had met, like, you know, for I met her 
it was kind of like at a conference. I met her earlier in, in the day. Her body totally covered up, right? Couldn't tell anything. I mean, she had a decent face and all, but couldn't tell anything. I saw her later that night in a short, a short, tight dress and lost my fucking mind. I was like, damn. I mean, that motherfucker, mm, damn. I still think about it sometimes. Anyway, you know, the lover of many women, he sees that beauty. He sees that beauty in any woman, you know. He sees that sexual part. He, he's feeling for that sensuality, you know. And, and that's something else I might, I might talk about one day, too. Uh, and that's something I talk about in players' eyes, your sex appeal. It's not necessarily based on looks. That's why you get some people, they can look good, but they ain't sexy. You don't feel anything. But that that's a whole other video and all of that, you know. That's a whole other video. But... You know, um, I I just, you know, one thing I, I talked about the love of many women in a player's eyes. Well, one, in a player's eyes, I just wanted to hit y'all with a perspective that a lot of people just don't get. Right? That was one. Two, just to let you know, there's some guy, there's, the reality is most men out here are not getting any sex. They not they they involuntarily celibate. Even some dudes who look like they're cool. They, you got dudes, you got dudes either in relationships, or even married who ain't getting sex, or they ain't, or it's being rationed out. Like you know, you got the dudes who ain't getting it. Then you got the dudes who are a little bit better who can get it every now and then from some random women. Then the dudes who are in relationships, but they ain't getting the sex they want. I mean, you still got dudes out here they been going out with a woman for like eight months to a year they ain't had sex yet because the woman's making them wait really the woman ain't feeling their ass and you know you got a lot of stuff you got sexless marriages i mean you the number of sexless marriages i know about personally is staggering I should, as one person i should know about this shit and this is random this ain't had nothing to do with my coaching or somebody just directly telling me these are just people <laughs> you talking to them and they let you know it's like nah ain't nothing happening there <laughs> it was like damn so you know so in the lover of many women you got a guy out there who's getting this and you know he he a little bit he actually might be a little bit he's in the same like family as the good good man and but you know only difference is the love of many women might be a little bit more public he might he might actually take out the woman he'll hold a woman's hand publicly and stuff he ain't, he ain't the back door dude so but it's you know it's just something to think about it's just something to think about and the reality is these guys don't look any different from the rest of the male population really that that's a one in point there's nothing special about them you know, regardless of where they come from, how much money they make. I mean, you got dudes with money, and then you got dudes sleeping on cardboard on the street. But they exist. So, anyway. That's all for today. Hey, look, y'all go check out a, a player's eyes. Seriously, you're going to see some shit you ain't seen any place else. Because I'm just being raw with it. Shit. Because y'all see... I should see the stuff in there I don't talk about because there's one chapter in there I ain't I ain't gonna talk about you I gotta buy it but y'all buy that chapter and I guarantee every man who reads this one chapter he ain't worried about getting sex again in life anyway that's it for today talk to y'all later peace